art movement poster. So I have some other fonts in here that are have that grimy look to them. And uh, one I think is called something steak or jack or something. Jack. I think it's jack. Jack. Black Jack. Cheddar Jack. Action Jackson. Ah, very good question. Uh, installing fonts means that you are going to, you want to watch a tutorial that I have already up there, but essentially you're going to go and you're going to look up your font. I'm going to pause. Pausing. All right, so when you find images that are fair use and you're building a project such as a mood board or a poster, it's a really good idea to make sure you're in your documents folder. Create a new folder. And I'm going to call this mood, board, and poster. So everything goes in here. And this is the graffiti wall. And for color palette, I'll be drawing right from these colors. And uh, let's go back to Illustrator. So in here, I want to place that photo in this shape. So I'm going to go and click away, file, import. All right, one more time here. File, place, not import, place. Not import, place, place. And I can pick something that I want to place. And I want to place from my mood board and poster my art graffiti wall from Dublin. And click place. I am sorry I said import. I've been doing video all day, and that's a video word. So I'm attempting to place this poster exactly the size I want. Looks like it's a little smaller than I want it to be. Uh, nevertheless, I'm going to move it. And S for scale, or even R for rotate, and rotate this around. Why, why does it have to be going the correct way? It does not. And maybe I want just this owl, OK? All right, so I have the owl art on top of that rectangle. Now I'm going to talk about a clipping path or a clipping mask, putting one thing into another. So I'm going to select the photo and that shape right here by clicking and dragging across. So there's two things. The regular selection tool, I'm going to click and drag just a tiny little area. That'll select both of these items at the same time. And I'm going to go to Object, Clipping Mask, Make. Okay, It did not like that. It wants this picture to go underneath. So I'm going to cut. Remember those key commands I told you that are really important? Click, paste behind, Command B. Select the second shape, and again, it's object, clipping mask, make. So the thing that you want inside must be under the shape you want to put it in. I want to put it in this shape, and so it's underneath this shape. Clipping mask, make. Two things becoming into that spot there. So that is the kind of character I'm going to have in my poster. Clipping mask, make. I'll go back, get another sample here. Uh, how about uh, sorry. how about this wall? Has a really great texture. Okay. But I don't like the color. Okay. So I'm gonna save it, control click, and do copy image. And then I'm actually going to go to Photoshop. You don't have to do this. I just want you to know that it's possible. And in Photoshop, since I copied the picture, it's still on the clipboard. I want to move the colors to be more of saturation of hue, that red and blue and pure colors. So now I'll do New and... The work is going to be based on the size of what I copied. 
because I'm in Photoshop, that opens up a document with the clipboard size, and I'm going to click Create. And all I have to do is paste, Command V, right? Paste is the same in all programs. And now I'm going to go into the Hue and Saturate. So I'm going to go Image Adjustments, Hue Saturation. And I'm going to change the color so it's more in line with what I want for my mood board here. You can see I'm getting some traction here. I'm getting much more <clears throat> primary base colors. And I'll save it as to my personal folder. And I really don't need it to be a PSD or a Photoshop document. It doesn't need to maintain its layers, so I'll just make it a JPEG and I'll call it texture. I'm sure you can do an even better job than this. Okay. I might not want all this side, but I definitely want some of this sort of scratchy stuff. And back over to Illustrator and place file place and there is my texture. And I'll click and drag out. Make it large. V is for the move tool, so the black arrow. And again, S is for scale. And I'm going to click on the corner and drag this. Cut it, Command X. Go to the Selection tool, click on the shape I want it to be inside of, and Command B, paste it in back, hold the Shift key, select the front shape, and again, Object, Clipping Mask, Make. So, there's that. Uh, I want to make some boxes over here. How many colors do you think we should have in this palette, people? What do you say? Four? Only four? Okay. Five? Can I have five? Thanks. Mandy DD. So I have five strips. And I'll select all five little strips and squish them. And now I'll start coloring them in in some order of light to dark. So I'm going to pull from this contrast from light to dark. So I've selected the first rectangle by clicking on it with the regular selection tool and I'm going to pick this light aqua color, one, and then back to the move tool, select the second band, press the eye to get the eyedropper, and then I'm going to go with this color, oh I might need more than five, two, and then here, click, eye, and I messed up. I didn't do that right. Blue. Uh-oh. And stop that. There's a shape there that's misbehaving. Okay, I. So I definitely need the red. That didn't come out red. That, that doesn't look red at all. Okay, so this is sometimes so surprising. You think that this color is red, and you click on it, and you get coral. Okay, so why is that? What color contrast did you learn about? What do you think that one is? What's happening there? When you think it looks like a different color, what is that called? Bing, bing. Nice job. All right, so I need more than five colors, but yeah. All right, so maybe I'm going to be allowed to have ten. Hee <laughs> hee. I did. I'm going to make more here because that's not enough. Oh! Option, click, shift, drag. And now I have bunches more. So click the box, press the I, click the color. Bing! If you press the V key, watch, it switches to the selection tool. The regular selection tool. This one is not called the regular selection tool, but I call it that because this one is the direct selection tool. Really, this is called the selection tool, but I just call it the regular selection tool because this one is not regular. 
Okay, so then, yeah, a V is for move tool. Make sure you press V and I, V and I. So V is click a box. I is pick a color. See, there's that color in it. V, click, I, and sample. It's a lot of color in this thing. I really should narrow it down, but it's just so exciting. Right. And uh, I just feel like there's something important there, but not really. Maybe I just don't like this one. So V, click, I, all right, I have to stop. Look, there's purple on there. All right, so these are all the colors I can use in my graffiti mood board, and I could do something with this, which I don't need to show you how to do. You get the idea now, right? You might want to know some silly things like how to put a drop shadow. So if I select this box, since I'm doing it in Illustrator, I can go Effect, and then we've got Stylize, and then we've got Drop Shadow. Do it. It does not care about my wanting to have a drop shadow. Oh, maybe it's over here somewhere. There it is, there it is. Preview. There. And OK, so now you have some ideas about some techniques that you could do for yourself. I, I don't want to take up too much more time doing that. I think that was probably helpful enough for mood boarding. Of course, that's not making a poster, but it does use the one third rule and talks about grid design and a little bit about type, type hierarchy, which were all topics I wanted to make sure we covered tonight. So 